going on everyone alex here uh you're lucky that this phone isn't at the bottom of the river over there because i've just spent the last six minutes plus talking to no one on a video that found itself stopped for no apparent reason phone decided to die on me let's hope this one pulls through just sitting in the park um about to embark on some afternoon note-taking activities, but I thought it's been a while since I shared a video and I uh, thought now would be a good time. I haven't given you any li life updates for a bit, so I thought I'd dedicate this video to Alex Mather's life updates. And it's Mather's, not Mather's. I just wanted to sort of make that clear. I know, I know that there is a lot of you and many people have called me Mather's over the, over the years. Just wanted to clear up that uh, actually it is Mather's interestingly enough. It's a Scottish name meaning mower, or at least based on that uh, etymology. Um, but for those of you interested and, and you know, sort of want to know the, the, the inner depths, the inner workings of the, of, the, of the Mathers brand, it is indeed Mathers. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking about that. I'm going to try and cover in as short a period of time as possible what's going on in my life, for those of you who are interested. And there's a lot to cover because a lot's been going on in terms, certainly in terms of me working on personal uh, habits to optimize and improve and, and raise energy as I'm, I'm always working on. One of the things that's happening for me right now is that I've quit caffeine again. I know that uh, some of you have been asking about that and I did quit outright last year for about uh, three months and then I caved because I wanted to give myself a cheeky little uh, um, small hit of caffeine every day for a creativity boost but that turned into falling into my old ways and i ended up drinking a couple of cups again i know that's not very many compared to to many people but for me that's a lot and i can spend another video talking about why i have chosen to quit caffeine outright you want to get yourself reading the book caffeine blues i'm not sure who it's by again but it's basically, it basically reveals just, you know, a thousand and one reasons why caffeine is not as good as we all think it is. And it's basically, I mean, as in terms of what I know about it, it's a, it's a plant poison that basically when ingested puts us in a fight or flight state. It makes us anxious. It's, it prompts us to release stress hormones and it and it raises cortisol which is the stress hormone and it just makes us feel as if we're buzzing but we're actually just anxious and the way that it works internally beyond that is that it blocks off the receptors in our brain that make us feel and remind us when we're tired which is why we feel more alert but actually we're actually much less we're incapacitated thinking that we're getting a boost we're actually performing 80 70 percent of our capacity in terms of energy and, and brain wise as well which isn't so good and and at the same time we're kind of deluded into thinking that we're um we're winning and we're uh, we're performing better but actually we're just having our sleep senses cut off and we are amassing a kind of debt of fatigue and this is why when when people quit caffeine for a while they'll feel really lethargic as I did and lacking in motivation and I'm, I'm only just kind of waking up out of that 10 days of uh, what's the word lethargy apathy <laughs> just lack of motivation not really getting much done it's been really painful for someone as creative creatively driven as me it's been difficult to to watch myself not interested in stuff so that's been difficult, but I'm happily unmarried to caffeine for the time being, and I hope that this will last. And if I get enough comments down below, I can explain a bit more about why caffeine is out in a bit more depth, perhaps in another video. That's one of, been one of the big ones. I'm still in Krakow in Poland, South Poland, still loving it here. It's a lovely summer. Um, the weather couldn't be better. It's a little bit hot. I've got... Um, thoughts about potentially moving within the next few months maybe just change of scene but I have a good feeling that I'll probably be back here um, and um, liking it a lot um, social social life is is not strong right now um, 
in on purpose i've got so many things that i you know i'm i'm, re I'm realizing that i'm sort of hurt, hurtling towards 40 quite rapidly here and i want to get my finances in a in a particular place um before i get there and i don't want to keep doing work that involves me exchanging time for money over and over again where i'm not gaining any leverage a lot of you guys will understand what i mean by that it's like when you're doing freelance work when you're working as a solopreneur when you're working uh, as a service provider in my case it's coaching and, and some writing work a lot of that is just a case of a client coming to me and then me doing you know making a sale with them and doing the work and then that client will go away or it'll be a repeat sale but it means that I'm not leveraging my my time I'm not able to create more time by creating other things like products that will more easily make money while I'm asleep type thing and that, that's what I'm really looking for is to put myself in a position where I've got assets that are working for me making money for me can't believe it's already six minutes into this video it's gonna be a longer one guys for those interested so I'm, I'm, I'm much more cognizant right now of needing to build products and courses and books I need to I need to I feel the need to create a bit of a sort of a a machine that um, is able to create income with less of my time requirement it might it doesn't mean that I'm completely stepping outside of my business but it means that um, as I get older I don't need to do as much physically I don't need to sort of put so much time and energy into making money when I've got all these hopefully evergreen products that are working for me so I'm having to make some sacrifices I'm having to be rather antisocial not completely antisocial but I'm I'm living quite an isolated lifestyle at the moment especially given all the, the, the lifestyle changes I'm making that require that may, it's a lot easier being antisocial to give up things like caffeine and alcohol and the other things I'm about to talk to you about so it can be difficult, you know, waking up sometimes in the morning thinking, my God, I haven't spoken to another human being in, in the flesh for a few days. This is getting a little bit, you know, e even a couple of weeks in, in some cases, apart from, you know, um, baristas and things like that. So there's that. And I'm looking forward to getting back to a, something of a social life once this phase of my business building is is at least to, the, to, to a kind of initial level that I want it. And then I can open up a little bit more. Um, to more social life but that's the way things are right now I'm kind of treating being in Poland as um, my opportunity to get stuff done because I don't know that many people here and actually that was part of the reason why I came here in the first place is because I knew that you know I'm basically starting from scratch here I haven't really got any contacts here and that's actually going to benefit my business in quite a good way so I got thrown off there got some issues with my phone storage which kept cutting me off so I was talking about how being where I am now has given me the opportunity to bring a bit more focus to what I'm working on, the assets I'm creating, what I mean by assets, um, products that um, are going to be able to make money while I'm not there. And I, and I am very much drawn to the, the need to create leverage in my life and create more residual income flows so that I create more time for myself to focus on other things and once all of these things are done i've got various ideas for various courses and things that i want to release through my newsletter and so on then i'm going to start reintroducing more workshops and more you know FaceTime with 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 people more and more i'm still doing a bit of coaching i want to bring in some retreats and workshops and stuff like that but that that's going to come a bit later beyond that um i gave up gluten a couple of weeks ago and I had always been thinking about doing this, but certainly for a couple of years, um, was always considering the detrimental effects of particularly wheat products and uh, gluten related. I, I always suspected that I might be gluten intolerant and I wanted to experiment more than anything else to see what the, the impact was of, of cutting it out outright and seeing whether that improved my um, mental clarity, energy, um, productivity, all that stuff, mood, and gave it up for a week. And then I, I found myself eating some seafood with a, a, a sauce that I couldn't identify on it. And I ate it and I had never been so sick in my life <laughs> that same night after having eaten that and had the worst constipation and the worst stomach pains I've ever had 
throwing up everything and realized that there was wheat in the sauce, which really went to show how intolerant I was. And it didn't seem as if it was the case because I'd been eating bread all my life. And it wasn't until I took it out of the diet and then reintroduced it that my body really reacted terribly to it, showing me that I'm not tolerant at all. And this has been an interesting experiment for me because it's it's showing me in, you know how my body reacts and how better I feel and I'm feeling it's difficult to know at this point two weeks in I, I I'm feeling pretty good but it's been it's been kind of interfered with perhaps with the caffeine withdrawal and all that kind of stuff so it's difficult to know exactly what's going on in my body and I've been taking on a lot obviously and quitting a lot at the same time which I tend to do I like to go all in and if I'm going to change my life I want it all at once so I've been doing that and things are looking good on the gluten front it's it's costing me less money I'm eating fewer croissants I'm getting it you know I'm getting a little bit sentimental here about things that I used to miss that I can't eat anymore but there are lots of alternatives and I'm focused more now on taking my primarily carnivore diet more seriously I'm I'm, I'm pretty sure that carnivore and primal is really the way to go I know that this will bring a lot of uh, counter arguments and a lot of people who are against the idea and they like to go their own way and that's perfectly fine i'm not enforcing a specific diet on anyone i just think that based on my research and based on my physical response to this way of eating i think the way the way to go in terms of energy and optimizing health and and um, anti-aging and all that kind of stuff is is primal more primal less less vegetables less fruit even um fewer carbs and really upping the the animal and dairy intake and uh, we can have a, a conversation on this for as long as you like down below but uh, that's where i'm experimenting right now it might change but i'm feeling pretty confident that this is the way to go um, i'm starting to experiment with more raw animal products as well so i'm eating raw eggs in the morning and i'm starting to mix that into a raw liver and egg smoothie i know that it sounds absolutely disgusting and it kind of is it's not easy to to palate at the moment but um what i'm looking at is what appears to be an extremely nutritionally dense superfood um that i'm taking in in the morning and it's giving me energy i'm getting a little bit of stomach upset from it right now because i'm still new to it and my body is adjusting but i'm pretty pretty excited about where things could go with this and what it's doing to my body in terms of you know I bet there is there are some plant-based guys watching this thinking he's completely lost the plot and I can totally understand that given given what we've been t told over these years and given what um, you know everyone's talking about it's it's so conflicting it can be so confusing as well um, but it's an interesting an interesting journey for sure so that's what I'm doing caffeine free gluten free wheat free it's making my diet very simple I'm focused head down on getting a ton of work done, on productizing my knowledge, turning my knowledge into courses and helping people that way, building up my newsletter. I'm barely talking to any other human beings right now, but I'm doing a lot of interaction online. I'm becoming a, uh, what do you call it, an otaku, sort of uh, um, Japanese loner who doesn't speak to real people, just does everything online. <laughs> um, but as I said, I hope to reintroduce a bit more of a social life soon, but right now I've got to, I've got to be ruthless and it's it can be painful it can be difficult to to do what needs to be done really i just i need to get a certain amount of stuff done and a certain number of words put down every day and in all of this creation what else no no caffeine i'm sure there's other things going on as well mostly carnival diet barely drinking any alcohol um no fat going strong on that too i've been on I'm really taking that one seriously now. I'm, I'm just fed up with all the relapses. You know, I have been relapsing here and there. It's, still, it's minimal compared to the general male population, but um, it still happens and I still get angry when I do it with myself and I still continually want to, I still see the dramatic benefits of keeping off it, keeping off pornography and avoiding fapping. The, the benefits are just un unbelievable every time and, and you know, I'm 10 days into it again and feeling more confident than ever that I can keep off it because I've got all these other good habits going on and it's sort of 
um, they're, they're feeding into each other in terms of the, the benefits that that um, being strong with my habit formation is, is and, and the benefits that brings me. So I'm I'm also off that. So feeling generally pretty healthy. I've got a few headaches coming in now because I've got still going through these with withdrawals. You know, I've I've been having withdrawals from from lack of wheat. I've been having withdrawals from lack of caffeine. So give me a few more weeks to to check in with you guys in terms of how things are going, and. I hope I don't allow my inner child to take hold of the reins again and um, fall for all the various temptations that are around us. I'm also, incidentally, on a very low sugar diet as well. So it's, you know, it seems excessive, I'm sure, to many people. Many of you guys are thinking, oh man, this guy has absolutely no life. And I sometimes wake up in a sweat thinking, my God, I really don't have much of a life right now compared to the general population. But when you look at the long term, hopefully, this is gonna this is gonna help me health wise. You know, touch wood. You know, no, no guarantees or anything. More than anything else, all of this is to make me feel good in the moment. You know, this isn't about necessarily living for till 150. It's it's just I feel a lot better when I'm treating my body right right now, and I want to optimize my energy and my health as best as I can, so that I can do better work. I can create more for you guys. I can help more people. And right now I need to make some social sacrifices in order to create good work that people are going to benefit from to create more leverage for me that will in turn lead to more support for, for you guys. So I hope it all makes sense. If you've got any questions, do leave them down in the comments section below. Greetings from the Ferris wheel here in Krakow. And do like this video as always. Uh, thank you for the support. Whenever you like my videos, it does something to the algorithms and the um, the lizard people at the uh, the head of YouTube will get a ping in their office and will see that uh, my videos need an extra push. So I appreciate that. I will see you in the next video. Take care.